So I'm on my lunch break. There's nothing going on. It's dark and gloomy and gross outside, but for some reason I want to do my makeup. So I thought, why not just do it? So here you go. looks crazy crazy dark on camera but once it's all blended out pretty it does pretty good it's a little dark but I'm actually really strange in the fact that my face is always darker than my body always and I exfoliate my face I wash my face every night I exfoliate at least twice a week but my face tans so easily that my face is just always darker than my body. And I look weird if I do a pale face, if that makes sense. Yeah, I So that's the BB cream done. I know the concealer looks super, super light. It's not that light in person, but I also just use the same sponge. So I blend it out. So it does still have some of the BB cream on it. So it's not going to look like crazy. It might at first, but it won't when I'm done. So you can see when it's blended out, it's not like crazy bright anymore. I just need that coverage for my dark circles. My, you can see my bags are so bad. I have yet to find a way to get rid of them. Anybody has any advice for me, please let me know because they're bad every day and I get plenty of sleep. Okay, that part's done. I'm just gonna take my sponge and put it in some powder. Use that to set the concealer and I will actually use it to set my whole face too. Again, and take it and set my entire face and I do it with a wet sponge because it pushes the powder into your skin and it doesn't just look like it's sitting on top if that makes sense boy my camera does not do it justice my skin actually looks pretty perfect in real life, but. Oh, and fun fact, this patch of my skin will not hold pigment. I can't, foundation doesn't stick, powders don't stick, bronze, nothing sticks there. So, that's fun. I don't do like a crazy contour or anything, but I will take um, this Tarte it's Hotel Heiress. And it smells like chocolate. It smells really, really good. And I'll just take this Morphe brush and just barely, barely tap into it. Just enough to get some color there. I'll blend it out in a second, but I just put enough on to get color. Also go right under the lip, my nose. 
and a tad on the forehead. And then what I will do, aha, fluffy brush, lighter bronzer. I will use this to just blend it all out. I kind of just use um, this bronzer as a blush too. I don't really like blush that much, so I'll just use it as a blush as well. And then this is one of my favorite highlighters. It's the Essence Pure Nude. It just looks like skin. It's so nice. dollars you can get it at Ulta it's awesome I also will take some on this tiny 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 little brush and use it as an inner corner because I'm not really gonna do a lot of eye makeup. Okay. That is done. Now my face is pretty much done except eyes. For my eyes, all I'm gonna do is go back to that bronzer, my fluffy brush, and just go in the hollows of my eye, my eye crease. Then I'm going to take a thinner brush, like it's not as fat and fluffy. Same thing, but I'm gonna do my lower lashes. I don't need it like super small and condensed brush to concentrate the color super close to my lash line. Just run it through, just disperses the color really nicely so it's not like super sharp. I'm really just putting this on here for a little bit of a shadow anyway. I don't really care if it looks perfect or not. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere today. So that's it for my eyes. Urban one. This is a really, really good. This is from Lobby London. It's their AM to PM black liner. Really did a little bit. I usually go up top. And then I'll probably do my bottom tie too. Again, nothing crazy. And then I'm going to spray my face with a Morphe setting mist it smells so good it's so fresh okay while that is calming down I'm going to do my brows so I just realized of course that I sped this part up so you have no idea what I'm saying I'm pretty sure I just told you that it's an e.l.f. eyebrow pencil and that I do my own brows as far as plucking and waxing. Sometimes I'll use a hair removal cream to do like this center unibrow part, 
but for the most part, I do use Nair facial waxing strips and I just pluck them almost every day out of an anxious habit. But yeah, I think that's probably all I said here. So I'm sorry that I sped it up like a little rabbit and I sound like a chipmunk, but that's the important stuff. So that's, that's it. Now I'm going to do my lashes. I'll show you my favorite mascaras. I have three favorite mascaras and maybe a little bit much, but um, this is the newest of them all. It's Maybelline Total Temptations. And this is like a nude, like a nudie PG packaging. Really, really like it. I've been using this a lot. It's got a bristle brush and it just is like, perfect. I don't know. It's perfect. Super black. Love it. Another favorite is the Voluminous Lash Paradise L'Oreal. This one is a dupe for the Better Than Sex mascara. I don't care who you are. There's no reason to spend $25 on a mascara when you can get one for eight. So same thing. Love it. Love it. This one's getting a little bit old, but I got a brand new one in there that I can use. This is another dupe. So this is the Catrice Glam and Doll Mascara. This is an exact dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. I've had the Roller Lash. I've tried them both. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Look at the curve of that brush. See how it's slightly curved? Yeah, that's a dupe of the Roller Lash. It's a skinny curved brush. I use it for my lower lashes and I use it as my last step on top and it combs them out beautifully. So I'm going to curl them and then put mascara on. Doesn't everybody make a funny face like this? I will say this Maybelline, I think it's a little bit more natural looking. It doesn't like give you like crazy ridiculous looking lashes. But I like it because it looks like natural. Like your lashes, but they're just super dark and fluffy, if that makes sense. Okay. Now I'm going to take my little So, take you out of there as I fall over my scale, because who doesn't just leave the scale on the ground? Um, but yeah, this is, this is my makeup. Um, not doing anything today, just hanging out. There's that patch that will not take pigment. I don't know what to do about it. It just won't. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm probably just going to put chapstick on, I'm going to be honest, because I'm about to go eat some lunch. But that's it. I thought you guys would like to see it. Okay, so this is now 5.30.
did my makeup five hours ago. Still looks good. That's what we're working with. Hair. Mess. But everything else? I get asked all the time when I do my mascara like this if these are my real lashes or if I have extensions or fake lashes. Like my best friend asked me that a couple weeks ago. I was like, you've known me for 10 plus years and you're just now asking me. I said, no, they're my real lashes. I just coat them with mascara like crazy. So what we're working with. If any of you guys are interested, this is what I look like when I wake up. <laughs> if I go to bed with my hair wet. So, I will um, straighten it later today. I had a request for someone wanted to see my hair routine. Um, there's really not much to it, so I'll straighten it today and show you my straightener and... That's it. I just wanted to show you how I actually look in the mornings when I wake up. Okay. So someone asked me to see a video of how I do my hair. It's not that exciting, but I'll, I'll show you if you want to watch. This is literally what my hair looks like when I shower at night and let it dry. That's what I start with. I'm just going to clip most of it up. half the time I don't use a heat protectant because it just makes my hair greasy and I'm not about that life. This is the straightener that I use. I'll put another picture of it from Ulta on. It's the Bionic One Pass. I've had it for like six years and it's like the best straightener in the world. It goes up to 400 degrees. I always keep it on that just because I like it. It doesn't seem to damage my hair and it's got these things on the plate so it like glides through like super good. So these are the products I've been using. This is the Kenra Thickening Shampoo, the Platinum Thickening Shampoo. It smells amazing. This is the um, Scalp Care Anti-Thinning from Paul Mitchell. I don't like the smell but it works. This hair mask is amazing. I talk about it in my favorites video. It smells so freaking good. If I do use heat protectant, I use the Kenra uh, blow dry spray um, before I blow it dry. It smells really good. It works really well. And then sometimes I use this Tresemme uh, thermal heat protectant. But again, I don't use them all the time because they make me greasy. So once it's clipped up, I use a wide tooth comb and I honestly just take sections, comb it, and then I take my straightener and I follow the comb and then I do it one more time. And that's how straight my hair is. Like it's, the straightener is crazy. Like I said, it's six years old and it's still is like perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to straighten my hair. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but every time I straighten my hair, I am completely blown away. Everybody always says, you know, oh, you use that heat um, on your hair all the time. It's going to damage it. But if you look at my hair before and then you look at my hair while and after I'm straightening, it gets 
so much healthier and shinier and it just looks smoother and nicer than it was before. My straightener does not fry my hair, nor does it damage it, whether I use heat protectant or not. It actually makes my hair look and feel healthier. So let me know down below if you guys agree. I love it. Um, again, this straightener is six years old and it still performs like it's brand new. I highly recommend it. You will never need another straightener again. That's really it. I have really, really good hair. So it's easy, it's shiny, and takes like five to 10 minutes to straighten at most. So that's it.